Alyssa Pajoli, Life Leadership Executive and Connection Coach, wanting to give you three to four different methods that you can use to help you better prioritize. It is really difficult in a fast-paced world when everything seems so important to be able to know how do I prioritize and actually get something done. So the first method that I think a lot of people like, if you're a visual person and you like kind of a, a graph to fill in the four quadrants, would be the Eisenhower method, or Eisenhower matrix, I'm sorry. It really, it will help you get clear on important to not urgent, important to urgent, urgent to not important, and then not urgent to important. Sometimes helping break down where and how these things flow allows your mind to make a better decision. The other one is the impact effort matrix. That is, you know, do you have a high effort, low impact, a high effort, high impact, low effort, low impact, or low effort, high impact? You wanna make sure that your low, ta low effort, high impacts are your top priorities. And then the ones that are high effort but low impact are ones that you can kind of like save for a later day. Um, or depending on if you are in the products or um, development world of, of actual products, you may want to do the cost value matrix, which is high value, low cost, high value, high cost, low value, low cost, and then low value, high cost. Again, high value, low cost is quick wins and then low value, high costs are the ones that may need to be prioritized, but given the expensiveness that they will take, may be discouraging, so start with a couple little, uh, little wins. I personally love the Moscow prioritization method. Um, it's the concept that you must do, should do, could do, and won't do. Uh, I get that with my line of work, it's it's easy to prioritize tasks um, based on when I have breaks in my days. If you have multiple people that are wanting different things, this may be a little bit more difficult to figure out what is the should do's, could do's, won't do's, um, which is then brings you to the A, B, C, D, E method. A tasks are the must do, B tasks are the should do's, C tasks are the could do's, D tasks are the delegate to someone, and then the E tasks are the ones that you should just eliminate, like not getting here. Uh, or the Pareto principle of 80-20. Um, if you prioritize a small percentage of the right tasks, it will out yield outside effort and effects. So a lot of people want think, okay, like let's, what is the 80% of stuff I need to do? Um, but really getting clear on what is the 20% of work that's going to draw out and positively impact the other 80% of the things you do. Um, so those are a few different prioritization methods that if you do struggle with this, um, I cannot validate enough that this is a, a big thing that people struggle with because we live in a world where we, we multitask versus monotask. So um, prioritization is key. So look these up and see which one you wanna dive into and I hope that you give it at least a two week attempt or trial period before just ditching it and running off to old ways. And if you have any questions, please feel free to always reach out. I am here to support you and add value in whatever way I can. And I hope you have a beautiful day.